Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're just going to be sh quickly comparing the iPhone 12 mini, the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Pro, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm just going to be quickly going over with you guys the differences between each of the phones, so it makes it a lot easier for you guys to go ahead and pre-order the phone that you're looking to get. Now, I'm going to personally be pre-ordering the iPhone 12 Pro Max, but I'm just going to show you guys really quickly the differences between all four of the new models that we're going to receive. So we'll start off with the iPhone 12 mini and the iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 mini and the iPhone 12 share the same features. Both have super fast 5G the new dual camera system with night mode and HDR video recording. They both have the A14 Bionic chip, which is the fastest chip in a smartphone. They both have this new ceramic shield technology with a four times better drop performance, which is awesome. And then it also has the Super Retina XDR display, which is the best OLED display yet. Now they are both the exact same thing and they're just different sizes. So the iPhone 12 is the 6.1 inch display, which is the same size as the iPhone 11 and the iPhone XR. And then we have the iPhone 12 mini, which has the 5.4 inch display, which is a lot more compact and it fits in the same in the palm of your hand which is awesome uh, so it's a little bit smaller physically than the iPhone 8 but with the same screen size so it is a really really awesome phone I'm really excited that they brought that out and now when we go over to the pro models of the new iPhone we have the iPhone 12 Pro and the Pro Max and a lot of people probably aren't aware of this but there is a difference between the Pro and the Pro Max I'll get to that really quickly here but the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max share many of the same features both have the super fast 5G the A14 Bionic which is the fastest chip. And then they both have the ceramic shield front with the four times better draw performance, the Super Retina XDR display, and uh, they have the pro camera system that takes low light photography to the next level. And now the differences between the both of them, obviously the iPhone 12 Pro is the 6.1 inch, and then the 12 Pro Max is going from the 6.5 inch in the 11 Pro Max to the 6.7 inch in the new 12 Pro Max, which is awesome, a little bit bigger. And then uh, this is the difference that a lot of people are probably aren't aware about. The iPhone 12 Pro Max also takes the pro camera system even farther with a larger sensor that increases light gathering on the wide camera for even better quality photos and videos. And it also has a new sensor shift uh, OIS for rock steady shots and a new 65 millimeter telephone photo camera lens that allows you to zoom in tighter on portraits. So not the biggest difference, but it is a little bit of a difference. At, and at the $100 price point, that justifies the difference for me personally in terms of what phone I'm going to get. So yeah, I just want to make sure you guys are aware of that before you go ahead and pre-order the phones, just to make sure that you're getting everything you need in this year's iPhone models. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with this video. If this video was helpful to you, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.